Okay, so in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to install the software seeding. Once you put in the software seeding into the DVD drive, you should get an automatic mes uh, message which comes up like this. But if it doesn't, just click start, go to the computer, and it should be there. It should be called TV. So I'm just going to click on run for the automatic message that came up, which most people would get. And then click on yes. So now the software is just building up, so we'll give it some time. Okay, so now you're just going to have to select the language. So I'm going to go with English. And then step one, install the drive. So please check that your HDPVR is connected to the USB 2.04 and has the power supply connected, then press OK. And um, if you watched the part one of my video, uh, we've already gone through that. So, so. Okay, now a message has come up saying the Drivers have not been updated. Compatible hardware not found. So if you get a message like that, it means the hot flag is either turned off or not connected properly. So once again, just click step one and then OK. And then now it should work. So I, I turned off my um, hot flag to receive that message. So I can just show people what the message is like. And now a message has come up saying drivers have been successfully updated. So we just click to exit and then click to step two to install the software. Okay, so a message has come up. I'm just waiting for the message to respond. And the software is being installed. So just give it some time and let it build up. This system must be restarted to complete the installation. Press OK, the OK button to restart this computer. Press cancel to return to the Windows without restarting. So we're just going to press OK. Okay, so my computer is now restarted, and then this message comes up straight away immediately after the computer is restarted itself. Um, I apologize because I had to end the video quick because um, the computer was going to restart, and I was afraid it would be safe. So now all you have to do is click install, and the system is installed. So now we just have to update the software and then keep going with next and then finish. I was just going to wait for everything to load up. Once again, you need to select a language. My language is English, obviously, so I click OK. And then next. And yes. And next. Um, I think this is going to take some time because it's still on 0%. So I'll just get back to you guys once it's... Oh, no, there it's going. But it's still pretty slow. So I'm just going to fast forward the video or edit this part out. And now we're at 100%. So software is finished installing, so just click finish. And once again, I have to do it again. And installation complete, so we just press OK. In order to complete the installation, it will be necessary to restart your system. Blah blah blah. All going over the same again. So we just click. Okay, so the computer is finished restarting for the second time again. I know it's such a long installation process, but it's all worth it at the end. So the next thing we're going to need to do is click on the total media extreme. And as you can see, there's four icons above. 
there's the record video, create disc, play video and utilities. The only two that I'm going to be using is record video and Arcsoft Media Converter in utilities. The next thing we're just going to need to do is click on record video, wait for it to load. And as you can see there's some settings on the left, but just make sure it's on the YP RPV for the video input and then the audio make sure it's on RCA back. So I'm just going to swap over to the camera and show you what you need to do on the PlayStation and that will be the last and final process.